In this video, I will show you how to create different types of organization charts using Microsoft Excel. This is the reporting structure of the engineering consultancy where I worked for several years. The chief executive officer, also called CEO, is at the top position. Two persons will be reporting to the chief executive officer. They are chief operating officer, COO, and chief financial officer, CFO. Directors of the different engineering departments will be reporting to the chief operating officer. I mean the directors of the roads and highways, structures and rail will be reporting to the chief operating officer. The general managers will be reporting to the director of the concerned department. Then each general manager will be having a team of senior engineers to assist him or her. Anyway, we are not going to that root level. In this case, we will create a hierarchy chart for the top management. So to create an organization chart using this data, go to the insert tab. Illustrations, Smart Art. See the dialog called Choose a Smart Art graphic is activated. Different categories are listed here. For organization chart, go for hierarchy. Different types of organization charts can be seen here. We will go for the basic organization chart. Okay. See, we have an organization chart which is basically a group of text boxes. This area here is the input box for this organization chart. Whatever we type in here will appear in these text boxes. We'll type in ABC in the first line. See the text ABC appeared in the top position. X, Y, Z. 1, 2, 3. Now to display all these positions in this organization chart, We'll copy these positions, right click, copy, click on the chart, replace the existing data with the copied data, control V. See all the positions here are displayed in these text boxes. Next we have to arrange these text boxes in the order of the hierarchy. In other words, we have to arrange these positions according to the management levels. See the Chief Executive Officer, CEO is at level 1. Next is level 2 and there are two positions at this level. Chief Operating Officer and Chief Financial Officer. To bring Chief Operating Officer under Chief Executive Officer, click on the line for Chief Operating Officer. Press the tab key. See the text moved to right side and the text box containing this text came under Chief Executive Officer. Again. Chief Financial Officer, tab. Now to bring all these positions under Chief Operating Officer, select these positions, tab. Once again tab. And all these positions came under Chief Operating Officer. Now to send the General Managers under Concerned Directors, Select the lines for General Managers, tab. Now the positions under CFO, tab. Once again tab. Send the General Managers under the Concern Director. See the Chief Executive Officer is at the top position. Chief Operating Officer and Chief Financial Officer will be reporting to Chief Executive Officer. Directors of each Engineering Department come under Chief Operating Officer. General Managers will be reporting to the Directors of the Concerned Department. Now about adding more positions into this chart. Suppose we want to assign a Senior Engineer under this General Manager. For that, click on the line for General Manager. Press Enter. See a text box is created. Press the tab key. The text box came under General Manager. Now type in Senior Engineer here. And if you want to delete some positions, select the corresponding lines, delete. Now if you want to apply different colors for different levels, select the chart, Smart Art Design, Change Colors. 
From here, we can select the color scheme of our choice. Now, if you want to show the name of each person along with the position, you should go for a different layout. Select the chart. In the Smart Art Design tab, Layouts. Select the layout called Name and Title Organization Chart. Let's add the name of the CEO. Click on this text box and type in the name. Let's see another layout which will display the picture along with the title. Select the chart. Select Picture Organization Chart. To add the picture of the CEO, click on this icon. From File, select the picture, Insert. Not only that, this technique will work with Microsoft Word and PowerPoint. You can also copy a chart from one application to other.